Good day everyone, Dave FL here. Uh, I apologize in advance for the horses in my voice as I am feeling under the weather. Anyway, this is going to be a short video wherein I want to share to you a breakthrough that I had. I believe I found the best settings for GTX 1080 Ti's when mining Zcash using EWBF Miner. So this first rig consists of 5 1080 Ti's and 1 GTX 1070 hashing at about 3,500 to 3,600 solutions per second. As you can see from the screen, the MSI afterburner settings are set at 72 PDP, 100 core clock, and plus 600 memory clock. This is not the best setting. I'll explain to you why. So with the current settings that I have, um, like for example, the last GPU is hashing about 640 solutions per second. From the videos that I've watched or the blogs that I've read, they keep telling me to keep pushing for the memory clock. But I would always end up with an unstable rig. Can't count how many times I woke up in the middle of the night only to find out my rig isn't running anymore. So here's what I've discovered. No need to increase the memory clock. Yes, you heard that right. No need to increase the memory clock. Let me show you more examples. Again, at plus 600 memory clock, I'm hashing at 641 solutions per second. Now, how about we turn down the memory clock to, let's say, zero? Shall we see what happens? I'm not sure if this is like common knowledge, but for me, um, for the two weeks that I've been trying to work on this rig or getting this rig to be stable, you can't imagine how freaking happy I was when I found out about this one. If you remember, we were hashing at 641 solutions per second. How much right now? 644 solutions per second at zero memory clock. Now you might say that's just a fluke or it's because hash rates are coming from the first settings. So let's just give it a couple more goes. Hashing, hashing, hashing. 642 solutions. I think with this particular algorithm, increasing the core clock and the TDP has more merits compared to let's say increasing the memory clock. Another example is if we increase our power limit to let's say 80, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be further improvement in our hash rates. My only concern if I am to increase the power limit, increased power means increased temperatures. I think that's one of the main culprits previously when I encountered several system errors with this rig. So we're just waiting for the hash rate result when set at 80 power limit. One thing you have to be careful of is overclocking the core clock too much. I find that plus 100 in the core clock with this particular rig is the sweet spot for me. Anything above that and the system crashes. Oh wait, there you go. 666 solutions. Talk about getting a number. So one thing you also have to sacrifice if you are to increase the power limit would be the efficiency of your rig. Now just to show you what I mentioned earlier, this happened when I set the overclock at 125. As you can see, it's not working properly. And that's a screwed up graph. So there you have it folks. I hope I was able to help you out with the settings for your GTX 1080 Ti's while mining Zcash. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, share this video. Maybe you'd like to donate some coins. Maybe you'd like to help me pay for a better camera than the one I'm using right now. Thanks again and happy mining.